So let's look at the problems JD is facing. Uh, it's mass scale, right? It has 236.5 million users, um, active users. It has 120,000 active vendors, which are selling you know, things on, the, on JD platform. And we, have, we get 15 petabytes of data. And this is last year's number, so it's a lot more today. We get 15 petabytes of data every day. We also um, completed one point, almost 1.6 billion orders uh, in 2016. So it's, it's, it's a, the scale is big. And also look at the problem that we're trying to solve. It's very interesting problems. Um, we are trying to transform consumer experience through technology. On one side, we say everybody who come to JD.com or come to any of the offline store, the wheel stores that uh, work with JD, they've got an individual experience, right? That, and that can only be done through big data. And, and it's, it's like a, you know, everybody has their own store, right? And also, in history, the, um, the retail is always, you know, producer produce things, manufacturer produce things, and they sell it to the consumer. We also want user feedback, right? We want user participation in the process. We want the user to tell our supply chain what to make, what's in fashion, what they want, right? So it should be a two-way street. And that's, that's what we call a smart supply chain. So all that has to do with consumer experience. And what's more, let's look at logistics. We want to deliver goods to very far rural, uh, rural areas. And now we're deploying drones, uh, unmanned airplanes, to the, to the uh, very far areas. Uh, we also want to deliver things to you wherever you are. You don't have to go home and wait for your delivery, right? Where maybe you're shopping in the mall, and we would uh, we'll send our drone, our uh, unmanned vehicles, to you and deliver the goods, right? So those are AI-driven autonomous uh, driving, right? Whether it's vehicles or aircraft. We also want very high efficiency. So we, are, we have fully autonomous warehouse uh, that with a lot of robotics in it, also driven by big data and AI. And uh, what about at home? Right? At home, we, there are millions of devices right now connected to the JD app and JD intelligent cloud. And those are devices there are not only small devices that we see, like thermostats, like alarms, and things like that. We are talking about major appliances, like refrigerators, like air conditioning, and uh, uh, washers, dryers, and so on. So those can be done only when you work with the supply chain, right? work with the manufacturers. And, and we have done that. So there are a lot of devices right now connected. Uh, and last but not least, FinTech. So FinTech, I think more and more people are getting familiar with FinTech uh, because we have a huge amount of data. We know a lot about the users, the manufacturers, the merchants. So we are able to uh, give them loans, for example, and we know a lot more than the banks do. We also know, know these facts very early, right? very, very much in time. And that gives, gives us a very huge advantage, and it's, it's a huge market there. But also, in the future, we want to uh, manage people's finances. We want to help them invest. And that is also driven by AI and big data.